Shaw. I'm going to let this baby charge up here for a few minutes and uh, I'm going to go to the toilet. toilet on a Saturday night just when you think you're going to get away with it. So it's the interlude, Dublin's most intimate interview. We're in the Trocadero restaurant this month. A little bit of glamour, I got a taste for it last month at the Andrews Lane Theatre. So we have dark room notes. Starry, you're checking out your, your beard there, you alright? Bit of growth. Bit of, growth, bit of a shadow at uh, this time of night, yeah? Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It looks, yeah. Getting all muddled up, day, night, all the rest of it. Rock and roll. So. Rock and roll, yeah. We kind of get out of bed at 10 o'clock in the evening, so yeah, I don't know where I am. Nice though here. It's it? quite glamorous, really. Ferry, how are you doing today? No, thanks. I'm really enjoying standing up sitting beside these huge rivals. Yeah, I know. And Aaron, we put you right down beside them. Yeah, the beside them. The smell is lovely. Yeah, yeah I know. It's, but it's an, <laughs> an intimate interview, an intimate one. So I'm going to get the uh, the dirt out of the way first and um, ask you about your favourite nights out that you may have had um, over the years. So, uh, Aaron, do you have a particular story? Yeah, there's one. Um, we went back to my house after a gig and and ended up, there's a bakery, um, a bakery building out the back of my house that someone caught on an iron and uh, he started climbing it and we ended up at the very top and uh, it's a beautiful view of Dublin and everything and I uh, looked down and there was a police car pulling up <laughs> and, uh, um, so we kind of had to all get down. Yeah, that would be a good idea to, to climb down, we saw two police cars coming up and we got down to the bottom and um, they decided to play good, good cop, bad cop with us. Okay. Except the uh, the good cops were finding the whole thing too funny, so they're just laughing while the bad cops are trying to get oh. out to us. <laughs> so what possessed so you to want to climb? Um, I don't know. Someone just decided. Someone who'd done it before decided yeah. it'd be a good idea. It was very, very dangerous. We were like 20, 30 feet up, just crawling across windowsills, and then I don't know, eight or nine stories. We stayed up for about two hours. Okay. It was great fun though. Oh, right. Baker. Wait, yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, yeah the baker's been good. Flower on their noses and <laughs> kind of getting worried, I think. So it was early morning then, really? Yeah, right? about seven, seven in the morning, maybe. Okay, yeah. all right. We're using self raising flour that much. Nice. <laughs> ah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> I had a kind of a ZZ Top moment, you know, did you ever see the ZZ Top videos where all those you know, fancy older girls kind of seduce young men? Yes. Well that kind of happened to me in a bathroom once, a girl followed me in and uh, you know, I think it was before I popped my cherry and I was like really, really happy mm -hmm. about this. I thought this is my moment, even though I wasn't too delighted it was a new rhino. And uh, I was getting it on, you know, and then a bouncer just kind of like interrupted and I, I stayed a boy for another few weeks. Oh right, so you <laughs> didn't actually follow no, through, it no, didn't, I didn't happen. No, it's just a, it's a, it's a good memory now though. Oh, okay, yeah. right. You're not the first person to tell me that kind of a story about an unusual um... So this blonde chick has been going around doing it to all young boys? <laughs> there's been a few, there's been a okay. few. What about you, Aaron? Has anything unusual ever happened to you? Um, apart from getting locked in to a purple toilet. Okay. Which was a bit scary, I thought I was going to be there for every second of the purple race. Okay. <laughs> You've had um, your four track EP, The Next Big Journey for you, I think, is over to London to do your album run. What's it done Yeah, I've gone over in a few weeks. I'm going to spend two, two weeks in a studio in London recording my debut album. Debut album, yeah. the best of luck with that. Post pre production. Pre -pre right yeah, now. we're doing that right now, so every that's day. Pretty intense, is it? Yeah. yeah, we've got tired heads and tired arms, tired arms and hands <laughs> and legs, okay. but it's good. Yeah. All right, well, I, I'm going to just take off my, my helmet here for a second because... This isn't the first time I've ever done in the bathroom. <sighs> yeah, Tara, <laughs> seriously. 
I have some notes for all of you that I put together because you're dark room notes and I was um, I was kind of an expert at this when I was in school because you know I wasn't allowed to talk and I do love to talk a lot so um, that's yours but you're not allowed to open it until after you leave Okay. and uh, the answers to these questions are on our website www.city.ie and um, Dara I couldn't make up my mind so you actually get two notes from oh, me. Oh thanks very much, oh wow. Okay, so best of luck with the album, and uh, we are going to uh, perform, I believe, now as well, yeah? We're going to do Shake Shake My Ceiling uh, from Dead Star Program, our last EP. Okay. Yeah, and I'm going to try and use the taps in this as well. We're going to improvise this. We've never done it before, ever, folks. Exclusive on Scooter Girl. <laughs> All right, and yeah. am I going to join in in some way or other, or...? Yeah, you can clap your hands, can't you? I think so, we're going to try. Okay, yeah. It's like going to be part of a band for a day. Totally. Yeah. Great. Looking forward to it. We're going to get ready for you guys. Okay? Could you hop in? 